Hello YouTube, we're gonna uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a little Java quiz on um, you know your computer. So just follow along this easy guide and let's get through it. So I'll start by creating your public class. I named my quiz. Type all this. Oh whoops. Sorry, I'm human too, you know. Okay. So now, since we're gonna, uh, it's probably we're gonna need a scanner in the future. Let's just import it. You could do a asterisk right here, but I just prefer uh, writing scanner. Okay, now that we've imported it, we should create a scanner. So scanner, scan. You could name scan anything you want, really, but I prefer scan. New scanner, and don't forget this part. Okay, now we imported it and we have it. Okay, so first we need to make a question. I'm gonna go something simple like what's two plus two. Here we're gonna uh, uh, print the options. There's two ways you could do it, either uh, list all of the options by adding a new pr uh, print or um, doing the new line option. So I'm just going to do what's uh, called uh, having a new print line in each time. It's going to copy and paste, it won't take long. Okay, so let's see what we have so far if there's any errors no errors and this is all we have so far so now you saw so right now we're gonna use string we're not gonna uh, take it in we're taking it in so it'll just make it more complicated later on so uh let's do in string in in equals scan on next uh i prefer line because if you do only next, it'll take one word only and the rest will be just gone. So line is better. Okay, so now it takes it in. Let's see if we have any errors now. See, now it asks. What again does nothing. So now we have to add an if statement. If in equals equal. No, wait, no. This is an int. Sorry, my bad. If in dot equals. Uh, uh, typically, I would do ignore case, but since this is a number, uh, we don't need to do that. So if it equals four, system uh, system dot out correct. Um, if you want, you could add a system to keep track of uh, how many questions you got correct. So just declare do it called C. And in the cur where you make an if statement for correct, just do C plus plus, oops, C plus plus, and it'll keep count by itself. And um, instead of adding all the options by itself, we do it else. System dot out dot print ln wrong. If you want, you could keep track of the wrong ones too, but it has no point. So. Now we got the first question down. Let me, oh, sorry. Let's test it. Oh, one error. Let's see, what is the error? Oh, why is that error? Oh, wait, I put a, a semicolon. Oh, oh, yeah, and you have to analyze it here. Add equals zero. Sorry for the errors. Anyways. So four, two, all right. So we got this working. So now let's do a little harder question by using words. So since we already set up string and we're not using it in the first question, we won't have to declare the scatter again. So let's do, let's create a new question. What? So now you can just 
copy and paste the choices you want. Eh. Oh, but you have to edit them. Okay, so now we have the choices and the question set. So, again, if you want, you could just copy this and paste it if you're too lazy to type. And change the 4 to Java. And yeah, it should do that by itself. And the rest is self you know, explanatory. Anyways, <coughs> let's test it out. Errors, nope. Four. See, we got an error here. If you notice, it just jumps. That's funny. Let me see what's wrong here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad. We never asked it to input anything. That's a stupid error. So, let's do in. No, wait. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. In equals scan dot next line. All oh, right, there we go. Yeah, let's test if it's yeah correct so far. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you do not do equals ignore case it won't accept the lowercase letter if the okay let me show you what I mean if we don't have the ignore case and the answer is Java right like this the first letter is capitalized if I type with the first letter not capitalized they'll say wrong so we add the ignore case compile it run it and now, no matter how I type the Java, they'll call it correct. So, uh, basically, you can just keep copying and paste the code if you don't want to type it up. Or you can type it by hand. Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, this is how you could tell how many questions you got right out of your yeah, total system. Uh, print ln. Uh, hold on. Let's do C. Correct out of. So here you actually have to put how many questions you actually made, because I didn't add a system to check. That because basically it is pointless, really. Anyway, so yeah, just uh, check how many questions you made and add it here. If you want to create your own int and add it to every question to automatically count, but I'm not going to do that. So let's test it out. Let's do the first question wrong, second question right, one correct out of two. That's basically that. Uh, if you actually want, you could put a system to tell you like how many percent you got. It won't be very difficult just to uh, system dot out dot print ln uh c divided by how many questions you have. Oh yeah, no one sec. And you have to add the percent sign. There we go. Oh whoops. My mistake. Well, that's the first question wrong. Second question right. Okay, there's something right or wrong there. Okay, my bad. First question right, second one wrong. What am I doing wrong here? Okay, I'm doing a lot of things wrong here. Well, I can't really think of math right now because we're kind of sick. So, just
just out of yourself, really. It won't be too hard. Just basically, let me try. Let me just try to think for a second. Just give me one second. I'll pause the video. Okay, sorry. I think this is the correct way to do it. But I'm not a math teacher and I'm feeling bad, etc. So, <coughs> let's just run it one last time. Four. Java. Alright. Uh, if you notice, it's kind of all clumped together. If you want to fix that, it's simple. Just add some lines. You can either do a system that up that print and make it uh, blank, or just add a new line, like so. So that came out. Yeah, not that better, but still it's okay. Whatever, you could add your own new lines or whatever you want. So anyways, I'll post the source code below and thanks for watching I guess.